Well, this really is the first time in a long time, maybe the first time that I can remember actually, that Greg McGarity talked about letting Mark Rick go, at least talked about it publicly. And I know that was a hard thing for Greg. And, and in the next clip that I'm about to show you, he explains it just a little bit. He also talks about letting Mark Fox go at the end of this clip. I do want to make sure that um, we talk just for a second about Greg and his legacy. And this will be the part that he is most remembered for, which is replacing a guy who was very successful at Georgia with someone who people hope to be more successful, which is moving from Mark Rick to Kirby Smart. I'm Dean Leggy from Dog Post, making you a smarter Georgia fan. And I'm not going to show the whole clip of the 30 minutes that we spent with Greg and, and Georgia's President Jerry Moorhead today. But Greg McGarity is retiring. Uh, I'll have more to say about that in the future uh, over on the website. Make sure you go to visit dogpost.com, D-A-W-G-P-O-S-T.com. But right now, I do want to get to what Greg had to say about letting both Mark Rick and Mark Fox go. Uh, I think it's important for the record. Hey, those are the worst parts of our job because you know it not only affects one person, it's a whole uh, uh, network of people. And, you know, I remember sitting in this office right here and Mark was sitting right behind me. Carla was with me and it's eight o'clock on a Sunday morning. You know, hell, I, I took it. I mean, I was I was very emotional. I had a hard time, you know, talking about Mark. I'm sitting across from someone that is is without question, maybe the greatest person you'll ever come up, uh, you'll ever meet. I mean, uh, a person that was selfless, that his story, uh, the adoption of his children, I mean, my gosh, I mean, that's, it's so difficult. And I really struggle with that. And it wasn't easy to do, but that's the tough thing about being in leadership positions. You Sometimes it's not the best thing for individuals. You have to do what's best for the institution. And at that time, I thought it was the best thing for us. and. Uh, but those are the very difficult things, and there, it's no fun doing that. Trust me, you don't sleep the night before, and you just you dread it. Uh, but I just thought that things had to had to change, and you know, the jury will be out for forever on those type things, David. But uh, you know, that's sort of the way things kind of uh, happen during those those periods of time. We've been to the NCAA in, since my tenure. We've been to the NCAA tournament twice, and we're 0 and two. Uh, and, you know, I just think that Georgia needs, you may not be in it every year, but you need to certainly be in the discussion about that. And that's never been a consistent part of Georgia basketball ever. I mean, Coach Durham was awesome, but we consistently weren't really uh, a top flight team. Uh, and we've had periods of greatness or, well, not greatness. I mean, periods of, of really good teams, but it was almost like a yo-yo. You were up one year and down the next. And, and I just felt like that Georgia hopefully could be consistent in that manner. Um, and I remember Coach Fox, when I came in, you know, he had told me that, you know, he had a long, long runway. And uh, I know President Adams at that time had a long runway with Mark because he had to turn the program around. That was, you know, nine or 10 years. Um, but after that time, we cert certain reached certain points and I just felt like we weren't uh, uh, getting there uh, and it was time for a change. And I, I think, let, I mean, having fired people before, uh, it's not an easy thing. I think what Greg described the night before uh, not being able to sleep is exactly right. He, he made the right decision about Mark Richt. Um, I don't know that it was handled the right way, but uh, at the end of the day, um, it, it, it needed to happen and it did happen. And, um, there's been a lot of things that Greg has been beaten up for over the years. Some of it justified. I think the vast majority of it got, got ridiculously out of control, um, just from people who spited him in the media, but, um, it was unnecessary, but what was necessary was moving forward. It was, it was clear Georgia was not going where it wanted to go with Mark. There was the 2015 season, which I've discussed and written about a lot uh, because I know a lot of those details. It was extremely dysfunctional at Georgia. And I think that Mar um, Mark being let go was the right move at the time. Uh, and Greg talking about it 
uh, is not something he talks about a lot. And honestly, the reason why is because he's gotten a lot of blowback through the years about that, um, even with the success of Kirby Smart. So uh, I was happy to hear what uh, Greg had to say today about that. Um, and uh, I look forward to talking more about this in the near future. We'll have Kirby for you here soon. Stay tuned to dogpost.com. We've got a playlist over here of Brock Vandergriff, which I would definitely check out if I were you. Uh, thanks for listening and watching. We'll see you on the website.